You've gotten in my way for the last time, Ben Tennyson. Take this! <laughs> Attention, plumbers in Alpha Niner Tango, come in. Still can't get through? You'd think they'd want to know about all these alien bounty hunters showing up on Earth for some reason. Plumber communication channels are completely full of chatter. Let me see if I can hone in on what they're all so chatty about. <gasps> no! We've got to get out there and do something! Once again. Bearer of the Ultimatrix, the burden of protecting your entire planet lies with you. Azimuth? What are you doing here? Uh-oh. You must be in trouble, Tennyson. Indeed. But not with me. With him. Who is it? A creature so powerful that even the Ultimatrix I created may not be enough to protect the Earth against it. We need to round up all the plumbers in the galaxy, form a protective brigade around the Earth- So they can fall, just as their noble comrades before them? No. Then what? There may be a way to temporarily enhance the power of the Ultimatrix. Great, do it! I cannot. But perhaps my ancestors can. I was not the first of my kind to pursue an interest in the sciences that led to my eventual creation of the Omnitrix and Ultimatrix. Eons ago, my scientific ancestors, the ancient Galvan, created a device they dubbed the Potus Altiari for its amazing power-enhancing abilities. But power often corrupts. So, my people hid the Potus Altiari, the one place in the galaxy they knew it would be safe from any attempts to use it for evil. Earth. Because you knew ancient Earthlings had noble hearts, and would only ever use it for good. What planet have you been living on? We chose Earth because it's such a backward planet that even if the Potus Altiari were discovered, you primitive Earthlings wouldn't have any idea what to do with it. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. Upon entering Earth's atmosphere, the Potus Altiari was torn asunder, each piece falling like a meteorite to a different point on your planet's surface. Huh. Reminds me of the Omnitrix crashing here back when I was a kid and found it. You Galvin sure are obsessed with sending your top tech to Earth. 
Kevin. What? I can't be the only one thinking it. Ahem. For centuries now, each piece of the Potus Altiari has been affecting the lore, landscape, and even the locals themselves in each of the areas of your world where they land. How could the Earthlings, I mean people there, never have noticed? Perhaps they noticed something. But being primitive as you are, attributed the phenomena incorrectly. Weather balloons. Crop circles. The Potus Altiari can give you, Ultimatrix Bearer, the power you need to defend the Earth from the approaching threat. But where do we start looking? The pieces could be anywhere. Some place with weather and crops? Well, that narrows it down. How is it you came to have a piece of the Potus Altiari? We thought it was just some dusty old alien artifact. The Vredel brothers and Sunder were after it in Paris. Can I touch it? Enoch had another piece just like this one when I was fighting him back in Rome. Probably super enhanced his powers from being around it for so long. So you have two? Excellent, Ben Tennyson! Uh, that one's still in Rome. What? I didn't know! I only kept this one because all those bounty hunters in Paris were so interested in it. Figured it must be important. You figured right. You must return to Rome and retrieve that piece immediately. We already know where that one is, and Ben took care of all the bad guys around it. Better go try to find the others first. Yeah, before that cosmic cloud guy gets here and finds out about it. Not a concern. The existence of the Potus Altiare is known only to the Galvin. And now you. A cosmic storm. Ben, one of the aliens you can turn into is a species that's created in cosmic storms. A toku star. Azimuth, it's not... It is.